How's everyone doing? My name's Jono and welcome to Quick Math. I'm an Australian maths teacher that's decided to take a year off to develop this YouTube channel, which is full of online maths resources to help students and teachers when face-to-face -face learning isn't possible. The goal of the channel is to be incredibly syllabus specific. Anytime that I'm looking for an online video, I find something that really works well for the first 50% and then maybe goes into something that doesn't really match up with what I'm teaching. So what I'm in the process of doing is making a video for every single syllabus dot point in the Australian curriculum. Attached in the description below of this video is a breakdown of the New South Wales syllabus into topics with all the videos that I've completed so far. This will be really helpful for you because everything is going to be in one spot. Every time I find a video, I use it, it works well, but then I forget to save it somewhere. For these ones, I've got every single video in one document, so when you're up to a specific topic, you can just have a look through and find what you need. I also then use this as revision material if I give out a notification. As you can see here, this is just a half yearly exam with every video embedded in, so I don't have to find extra revision resources for my students. The reason that I actually made this channel was because I found that when I was sick, the thing that I hated the most was actually setting casual lessons. I think it's really hard to set casual lessons when you're a maths teacher. If you get a casual teacher that doesn't know the subject, it can be really hard for kids to engage with content, especially if they haven't seen it before. There are obviously great resources out there, but finding and sequencing them in a way that is accessible for your students can be really difficult sometimes, especially if you're sick. What is super helpful is having something that you know is gonna produce a good high quality lesson without the work of you finding and sequencing all that information. Here's an example of what my Google Classroom looked like when I had a casual lesson. And you can see there that I've just embedded four videos that are differentiated for different students without having to go and write down heaps of information that they need to copy or ask them to just learn from the textbook. Attached in the description of every video is the notes that I actually take on my whiteboard, as well as two to three free worksheets for every video. So you can simply write on your Google Classrooms or your Teams, watch the video, write down the notes, and then do the questions from the worksheet. This is especially helpful if you've got to take a week off for COVID or something like that, because then new topics can still be taught by a maths teacher. These videos are also designed to be there for when students are sick or they miss a couple of lessons as well. Nowadays, it's kind of up to the teacher to make sure the student catches back up, and this is also super time consuming, having to put up the photos from the board or photocopying work from other students. It's always super tough when a student comes back from missing three or four lessons and they go, I don't know how to do any of this, and then it's up to you to catch them up. With these videos, hopefully you'll be able to just put up links to new topics and the student will have access to this new material without you having to double up and doing your in-class lesson and then writing an online lesson as well. All of this stuff is obviously not a perfect substitute, but it's designed to make teachers' lives easier and less time consuming, especially when face-to-face -face learning isn't an option. This is the first time that I've done anything like this, and I'm really looking forward to getting feedback from maths teachers. If you find these resources helpful, or if there's anything that can be improved with my video format, I would love to hear back from you. I've put my email in the description below, and if you have any comments, feedback, or critiques, please don't be scared to hit me up. Also, if you do have a second, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm trying to create resources for the whole year and this support would really go a long way. As I said, the goal is to do a video for every single dot point in the Australian curriculum and that is gonna take a little bit of time. If you do subscribe, I'm putting out about three videos per week, so it might line up with the content that you're doing at the moment. Thanks so much for watching and I do hope this is a resource that you consider using in the future. Cheers.